NoFap lifestyle claims are not rooted in much scientific evidence. And you have whole fucking channels going on. All these guys, hey, I'm in NoFap now. That makes me cool. That makes me, uh, you know, on the up and up. No, it doesn't. It makes you fucking retarded. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today, I want to talk about NoFap, which is the idea of abstaining from masturbation. Okay, I will give you my thoughts on that. But before we continue, if you are not yet a subscriber, this channel is all about practical, straightforward, no bullshit advice on the pickup and seduction and dating game. If you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below and please press the notification bell for new video alerts every single day. And I also offer an eight week mentorship program where I will teach you online dating, nighttime game at bars and clubs, daytime game on streets and at malls, I'll tell you everything to message going from a match to a phone number, everything to text going from a phone number to a date. I'll tell you how to run your dates, how to close your dates, and how to retain the girls. Okay, it's a full solution across eight weeks, including calls with me personally. So if you have interest in that, please jump on a free 30 minute call, link in the description. But my thoughts on NoFap in basically one sentence is I think it's fucking stupid. Okay, and I'm a very scientific guy and all that, so we'll explore some of the, the science behind it. But I think it's a very poisonous, type of mindset um, to, to be pushing to all these guys, like these nofap coaches, okay, who I actually had a, a video editor in 2019 who runs a, a nofap channel, Fearless Dan, okay, and I got an inside look into this fucking weirdness, and it's all about like seeing how long you can go without masturbating and like giving yourself a pat on the back and accolades for, you know, abstaining. And then sometimes they like have a moment of weakness and go and jerk off and then they make a video about it. Oh, I relapsed like as if it was like fucking heroin addiction or something. So first of all, for the record, I've been with 1,337 girls. Those of you that are new to my channel, I'm sure there's going to reach some nofap audiences. That is all fully backed. I have a link uh, I'll put in the description to a video about sleeping with a thousand chicks and uh, providing all the proof for that over an hour worth. But I have been masturbating all the way through, not to be fucking gross and explicit, but it's relevant to the discussion. Uh, basically, like if a girl will flake or cancel, um, or you know, I, I'm, I'm by myself for an extended period of time, there's no, nothing wrong with masturbating. I know a lot of other advanced guys that do the same thing. It's okay to watch porn. It's okay to masturbate, okay? But the, some of these arguments are like that it's going to like, you know, desensitize you and, and all this stuff and, and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's okay to, first of all, your brain doesn't even know the difference between, like I read a lot of neuroscience books. I read like 30 neuroscience books. Your brain doesn't even know the difference between something happening in real life and something happening on a fucking screen. Okay, it, it activates the exact same parts of your brain. And why wouldn't it? It's the exact same visual stimulus. So when you, the same thing if you're like dreaming or some shit. So t first of all, you could make the argument that not watching porn means you like should never hook up with a girl either, which is, which is fucking retarded. Because okay, when, wa when you watch porn, you like immerse yourself in the scene and the, and the fantasy and all that stuff. Especially if you're doing like point of POV, like point of view porn and shit like that. You just imagine that that's you Okay, or that, or that you're in the scene and that you're hooking up with these girls, okay? And your brain doesn't fucking know the difference. So if no fap were true, then like no one should ever have sex either. Or no one should perform any kind of sexual act, which is ridiculous. Okay, but let's look at a, an article here about no fap benefits. Are they real or overhyped? Okay, people said no fap started on Reddit in 2011 uh, between a conversation between folks who'd given, who've given up masturbation, okay? And the word fap comes from the internet lingo for the sound of jerking off, like fap, 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 okay? What started as a casual discussion is now a website and organization that promotes quitting not just masturbation, but also porn and other sexual behaviors. And then they say that it offers a range of benefits from mental clarity to muscle growth. And then, and then the article says, is there any truth behind these claims? So uh, the people of NoFap are claiming all these mental benefits, physical benefits, et cetera. And then, and then they go into, are the benefits backed by any research? And they say there's a lot of anecdotal evidence from the NoFap community. M many members are happy to share the rewards they've reaped. A lot of this can be placebo too. And that's what they're saying in the article. There may be a placebo effect at play, uh, meaning that people join the community expecting a certain outcome and make it happen. Right, so that people are just like justifying like, oh, this is really great that I'm not watching porn and not masturbating, enjoying that part, part of my sexuality. Uh, therefore, I think I'm, my mind's clear and I'm, I'm happier and this and that, okay? Um, abstaining from ejaculating for a few days may increase testosterone and improve sperm quality. However, there isn't any research to back the other claims associated with not masturbating. 
Most experts agree that masturbation is a healthy and integral part of normal sexual development. Research shows that masturbation in childhood and adolescence among females is associated with a healthy self-image and positive sexual experiences later in life. Um, more physical and mental health benefits that have been linked to masturbation include improved mood, better sleep, stress and tension relief, relief from menstrual, menstrual cramps, lower risk of prostate cancer, etc. And in pornography research, while there isn't as much, much research around pornography, some evidence points to it having potential benefits. Inter interestingly, many of the benefits of porn noted in one such study are a lot of the same ones no fappers reported experiencing after giving up porn. Male and female participants in the study reported that hardcore pornography was beneficial to their sex lives and perceptions and attitudes towards sex, their attitudes towards members of the opposite sex, and life in general. And the more they watch, the stronger the benefits. So these are all evidence against, this is all scientific evidence against NoFap. Okay, and you, ha you have this fearless Dan dude has over 50,000 subs now on YouTube. And, it, you know, mostly just fucking playing the algorithm. He, he, he's just fucking exploiting the YouTube algorithm. And um, he, he's very good with like the SEO keywords. He, his most popular videos are basically just clickbaiting celebrity names. Like Terry, Terry Crews, NoFap. Uh, these, and these other celebrity references, no fap. And so these got, it's coming up for people that are searching those celebrities. It's just fucking cheap marketing, okay? Um, let's see. Semen retention is the practice of avoiding ejaculation. It's a technique people often use in tantric sex. The key difference between semen retention and no fap is that you can avoid ejaculation while still enjoying sexual activity and orgasm. That's right, you can indeed have one without the other, though, though it may take some practice. People believe that it offers many of the same spiritual, mental, and physical benefits as NoFap. Semen retention requires some serious muscle control and learning to flex your pelvic muscles just before ejaculation. Blah, blah, blah. Are there any risks? Partic part partaking in NoFap is unlikely to cause any harm, but it means you'll miss out on the many proven benefits of masturbation, sex, orgasms, and ejaculation. It's fucking stupid. And then this says, if you're, if you're concerned that you're experiencing any kind of sexual dysfunction, dysfunction, including issues around erections, ejaculation, libido, see a healthcare provider. If you're concerned about your sexual behavior or feel sad, hopeless, or unmotivated, see, reach, seek out to a mental health provider, right? A lot of these guys, you have depressed guys or guys that have sexual dysfunction problems, and they think the NoFap is the solution, okay? Instead, you need a healthcare provider maybe to look at your testosterone levels, or you need a mental health provider to maybe diagnose you with depression and provide you with anti-depression and anti-anxiety medications or therapies to help with those, cognitive behavioral therapy, etc. So, you know, there's also, it says you should also recognize compulsive behavior. If you're dealing with compulsive behavior around masturbation or pornography, you can check for common signs like a preoccupation with sex, masturbation, or porn that interferes with your daily life, right? Of course, then it's a problem. I'm advocating masturbating in a healthy way. Okay, just casually here and there. An inability to control or stop the behavior, lying to cover up your behavior, obsessive ongoing sexual thoughts, experiencing negative consequences because of your behavior personally and professionally, feeling guilt or remorse after partaking in this behavior. If you're struggling with compulsive sexual behavior and looking for support, joining a no fap community isn't your only option. Many people find talking to others who share similar experiences to be helpful. You can talk to your doctor, blah, blah, blah. Bottom line, while some people report experiencing a range of benefits from adopting the NoFap lifestyle, these claims aren't rooted in much scientific evidence. Let me repeat that. NoFap lifestyle claims are not rooted in much scientific evidence. And you have whole fucking channels going on. All these guys, hey, I'm in NoFap now. That makes me cool. That makes me, uh, you know, on the up and up. No, it doesn't. It makes you fucking retarded. You're, you're missing out on a nice part of life, a nice part of your sexuality. And they say in the article, there's nothing inherently wrong with masturbation, even if you do it while watching porn. And like I said, the brain doesn't know the fucking difference. It's like you're hooking up with a chick. Is it wrong to hook up with chicks? Of course not. So it's our main evolutionary purpose. Partaking in some self-love isn't a problem unless it's interfering with your life. You know, so that's, that's kind of the fucking bottom line there. Um, <clears throat> I always thought NoFap was really fucking dumb. And that's my official position on it. That's, this is probably the only video I'll make on it. But I just find it fascinating. There's like this giant community around it and, and all these guys that think this is like the cool way to go. And in reality, it's just guys wanting to belong to some kind of community and being tricked by a bunch of pseudoscience. And then just they're in like these echo chambers with, uh, with these channels saying, oh, look at all these great benefits and, and who can last the longest without jerking off? Congratulations, you went one or two years without jerking off? I would say you're a fucking idiot, okay? That's fucking really, really stupid. So, <laughs> anyways, 
If you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below for lots of high value and practical dating advice. And if you want to master the game very quickly, I can get you there. I am your best option. I have an optimized system that I spent 15 to 20 years relentlessly optimizing. Okay, so jump on a free 30 minute call. Link in the description for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.